welcome to 653 BC and the Battle of Ulai. The Assyrians are taking on the Elamites in a classic struggle in the Rise of Persia mod for Field of Glory 2, our favorite game. Uh, this particular battle of Ulai, the objective is to route the enemy army by 40-25 uh, margin or route 60% of their troops. It is Assyrian turn one. I am going to play as the Assyrians because, well, the Assyrians were bad dudes, man. So I'm going to play the Assyrians and take on the Elamites. The Elamites in this particular battle are led by Tuaman, who is their uh, king, and they're deployed with their backs against a river. Uh, so they're deployed in a defensive position. Both armies field strong wings of chariots. Nice. This is the era of chariot warfare, so it's going to be fun in that regard. Uh, and you're going to have fun picking on me because I have not played this game in a few months. So enjoy ripping apart how rusty I am. And especially now going back to the Rise of Persia mod, or not Rise of Persia mod, Rise of Persia DLC, what we're going to see is whether or not um, the strategy with regards to chariots is going to really uh, hinder or help my ability to win. So the Assyrians have a better army. The Elamites have large numbers of massed archers and troops. Um, and the Assyrians have mixed infantry. So we're going to select some units here for the battle to see what else we could use. Now I'm not even going to look at what I've got on the... F uh, I'll take a little peek. We want to... Well, how much money we got? 227, huh? Well, it's my style to play with um, lots of skirmishers. Wow. Okay, so 77 left. Ooh, what else could I do? I could go to 76 with medium foot and light horse archers. Yeah, I like that. Leaves me with three. Yeah, it's good. Yep, that's what we'll do. So I didn't load up on chariots. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to check out these units. So we have two big armies here. Turn on the volume a little bit. And well, let's take a look at the Elamites first. We've got, what do we got here? Unarmored horse, okay, nice. Chariots, I have not looked at this battle, have not tested anything, tried anything, done anything with this mod yet. Mod, I keep calling it mod, DLC. Some chariots, average, okay, cool. Look at all these archers. Hmm. I like the idea of uh, attacking these guys. Mixed foot, mixed foot, and then they've got archers. How, how good are these mixed foot, average? My goodness, they've got a lot of Let's check the ground and see if it's even decent for archers. They have a bunch of woods in the middle here. I got a ton of skirmishers of my own here. Let's take a look at my army. Oh, we're much more fashionable. Okay. Veteran cavalry. Superior armored. Okay. Hmm. He's got more chariots. Mine are better. Well, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to move our chariots over here and attack his chariots, move our cavalry, cross them, and attack into his archers with his cavalry. What kind of skirmishers? It looks like, you know, this might be about him having better skirmishers. Levy, archers, average, okay. Medium foot, nice. Heavy foot, heavy foot. Oh, I like these guys. What? Yeah, these Assyrian guys look awesome. Oh, they got some archers in the back row. 50% light spear, 50% swords, bow, 50% light spear, 50% and swordsman. Nice. And that is heavy foot. Medium foot. And there is Ashurbanipal. He's our commander in chief and the king of the Syrians. 
Assyrians, excuse me. More cavalry over here. Turton of the right. And over here is Turton of the left. Nice. Unarmored horse. Again, I like the idea of crossing, getting this cavalry into these guys' face, and then just holding these guys with this these um, chariots. Well, I'd like to pin them with the chariots. Like, bring the chariots in about here and pin this whole group of guys, and then march forward and crush them in the middle. Sounds like a good plan. I mean, oops, sorry. Ultimately, what we want to do is... Um, I want to get my uh, cavalry into this, this soft little open ground. Maybe I can get these guys to hold off these guys here, mounted scouts. But I definitely, let's see where these guys move. Okay. What about these guys? Yeah. Okay. We're going to move the cavalry first. And we're going to cross. We're going to do a crossover. Hoping not to get my cavalry engaged this early in the game by his archers, but Can I turn this a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> my apologies. I've been on a bit of a personal hiatus um, had a personal issues going on career change um, so I have only been on YouTube very rarely but um, glad to be back I can tell you this for 100% certain it's nice to be back nice to be playing war games um, went to career change and had some personal issues going on just like everybody does it's the way life works basically Turn the volume down a little bit here. There we go. And this, I'm going to leave this cavalry right where it is. And we're not going to hold back. We are moving up. Yeah, this this might not work out well because we're advancing all our skirmishers. But in my in my opinion, if we, there we go, first blood. Yeah, get a little closer. We only have so much ammo. Definitely want to occupy. This rough ground here, and I'm not even going to shoot at those guys yet. And advance the colors. I think that's it. Just tab and see if we've got anybody else. But I'm not moving them. And there's nobody left. All right, let's see what the Elamites do. I don't know a whole lot about this era in history. I do know in this particular battle, the Elamites are defeated. Oh man, seriously, they're going to go. Wow, that was surprising. And surprisingly good. Anyways, uh, the Assyrians I know were very bad guys, man. They were they were tough. And um, raised a lot of trouble in their day. Nice. Okay, we'll start on the left flank. But the Elamites were led by uh, a king who had found his way. Yep, I'm liking this formation a little bit here. Wait, these guys have bows. Alright, might as well shoot. Nice, and we're able to straighten out their formation. How big are these units? Oh, 600 some men, good. Yeah, we're gonna stay back here while these chariots do their thing. I 
Nice. Okay, now we got the cavalry advance going here. These guys up. Three moves. Alright, we'll leave those guys alone. Let's see what kind of odds we've got here. 16, 15, that's actually an even fight. What are the odds if I join the battle? Right, we'll take that. So use slings. Run away. I think at the moment I'm going to leave. Nice. Get revealed and get hammered by. Nice. Okay, we're doing all right. And I really like this nice juicy little formation right there. So let's start the mess. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's get these chariots over here. Sweet looking chariots. Four horse chariots. Look at the Elamite chariots are not as good. The whole Elamite army doesn't look as good. Oops, can't move as a group, huh? That's a bummer. Won't take but a minute. Anyways, the Assyrians were really bad dudes, man. They were um, quite a force to be reckoned with in the ancient world. And the Elamites here are going to discover that, historically speaking, maybe not in this battle. And um, eventually they did rebel uh, once again. I think they'd be moving up to help their buddies out. First real casualty of the war here. And um, the Elamites get beat here. The king gets beheaded. Um, Tuaman gets beheaded. And uh, against this, they're against this river over here. And uh, the uh, two Elamites eventually, according to the review or the the um, summary, the Elamites eventually rebel again, and then the Assyrians come back and really lay waste to things like well, the Assyrians did. Let's see. Let's confirm the end of the turn, and now it's the Elamites' turn. Let's see if they'll come out and fight. Don't want his also. Oh, disruption for the bad guys. Yeah, I think we got to we got to charge headlong into these guys. We're pushing them back. All right, let's get these. Uh, can't straighten them out yet. Let's see what the odds are if we attack these guys. Oh yeah, nice odds. Um, yeah, let's do it. Well, should we should we just plow forward? I, mean, I do want to plow forward with, yeah. Nope, we're doing this way. Nice. I don't even know how that's happening, but awesome. engage them. Good odds. There we go. Disruptions all around, my friends. I'm going to do a left wing shift. I'm not going to leave a big gap. Just gonna. Oh, 
these guys back. It's time to move up. Kill the general, kill the general. Okay, let's move these guys up. It's tough part of this fight is the damage I'm going to take. Run away. There you go. Good. He needed to go one over. gap here and there but I think I've got the better heavier infantry and what we need to do is just advance as quickly as we possibly can get them I don't think those guys can run away or they can charge 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 you're gonna get shot to pieces Cavalry's in trouble. That rough ground might not be good for you. Yep. Wait, did I miss anybody? These guys here, I am not moving them forward. That's suicide. All right, I think that's it for this turn. Turn three is now over. Elamites at 2%. Man, they're gonna shoot me to pieces. I've gotta engage these guys as quick as these, oh, this cavalry. Really concerned, there it is. How many can you disrupt with a, just a shower of archers? And I think the problem, the mistake I've made, boy, and it's a big mistake, is a mass, massing your attack at the right time. These cavalrys are too close. The cavalry's too close. They're getting shot to pieces. And I just want these ranks closer together. I want to get come to grips with them. Ugh. Good thing this is just Turton of the right and that break those guys. Looks like they've fallen apart. Okay, great. Go get them. Go get them. There we go. There we go. Charge. There we go. Nice. Oh, great. All right, advance the colors. Turton of the left. Go. No choice now. We've just got to full out charge and get engaged with these guys. I want to get as many troops within range of his guys as I can and just. up there fellas there we go chase after him both of you no not so much that's gonna be a problem get as many troops up here and
Maybe I can absorb some punishment. Maybe I can do it again. Deliver punishment to the bad guys here. I don't know whether these guys have archers or not. They do. Everybody's got archers. These are archer heavy armies, man. I don't have ammunition forever, so. Zero boys are bad odds. Boy, these archers, is it just the ground they're in? Thirty-three. To, okay, we're gonna do that. Twelve, eleven, three to thirty-three. Those are not good. I thought they. Oh boy, it's not good. Okay, I gotta move these guys up. I'm firing from far range too, which isn't great, but what I wanna do is get, get close and engage these guys. But I think we're gonna be in a bit of a pickle here because they're going to tear my um, cavalry apart. there shoot should have paid attention look at that's why I can't he's got obstacles Ugh. well I'm learning the hard way it looks like basically these guys have obstacles in front of these positions and that's not good We're in trouble. <coughs> We're in big trouble in this battle. I wish I didn't notice those obstacles. That's bad. through those guys we get into there all right general to get killed here no I needed you to march forward shoot that was a mistake
you can't do that. through these guys come on now chase after him all right let's go this way Go for it. Gotcha. There we go. Go get him. Well, the good news is, at least we recognized this trap at the last minute after we suffered massive casualties. <laughs> um, could have been worse. Let's see if I can get these guys to engage. Nope, they ran away from my light cavalry. That's crazy talk. Nice job. Go get him. Now look at the rear of that cavalry. That nope. All I need to do is hold those guys for a turn, and then my other cavalry is going to get in there. So that's good. I want them locked in there. Hopefully those guys can hold out for... Run away! Who else can run away? Pull them out of the line. Uh, we'll pull them out of the line, although they're probably going to break anyways. Get my Praetorian Guard moving forward here. Oh, got this guy. He's... What if I hit those guys? Nope. Yes, that's what I wanted. Deal. Anybody else that I haven't? break anyways that's it looks like the Elamites will get their first break this round And there it is. Oh man, they, they decimated those guys. Five to seven, one unit, that's not good. tearing us apart wow they've got five guys in that unit that may be good for us we gotta look for opportunities where we can find them I thought well this Elamite army it's gonna be a pushover 
And obstacle, 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 obstacle. <laughs> Let's hold. Ugh. There we go. Good job. There we go. And there we go again. Nice. All right. Let's fight this out. Get him, get him. Nope, not so much. No. Oh, thought I was going to get a nice little... it with those guys the massive massive break in our line here there we go Thirteen, sixteen. shoot those guys how much two turns okay good Thirteen, ten, twenty-one, seven. 13 10 21 7 ah good There we go. Can attack those guys. Shoot at them. And then are in that unit. Thirteen forty-four. Hmm. Soften them up. Charge. There we go. Closer battle than we had hoped. heavies up get those heavies into combat
79% win. Yeah. 82% win. Woof. 12, 11, 18, 7. Hmm. Do it. And that's the end of the turn. Close battle. You can't run up. What, where are they going to run away to? They're stuck on that side of the river. Fight that battle. That cavalry is going to get mauled. Just don't disrupt. Hang in there, heavies, and get into combat. Come on. Must have been a flank attack. No. Thank you for holding on. He's filled us. Oh boy. This is going to be tough. Just hold on. There you go. Nice job. Big losses for the bad guys. Nope. Break. Break. There we go. We got in this little fight here. No, not very good. So I can't break these guys now. There we go. One of these guys are just melting away. Six twelve. He can't run away if I pin him. Well, he ran away. Hmm. Well, I might as well not let him. Hey, boy good deal I just don't want to give them a chance to um, rally forty nine to one there we go good odds there Eighteen to nine. Way to hold firm, boys. Hmm. Hmm. Pull 
these guys out. Four to one, nice. Yeah, go. Good, I got good odds all in this little fight going on here. Pull back. mistake, but what am I going to do? Attack him in the flank. Attack him in the flank. Yes! Pull forward, push forward. There we go, 78 casualties, that's nice. trying to do is kind of form an attack over this infantry unit I know they've suffered a lot of casualties I'm hoping they were could plow through but all right that's the end of turn seven let's go to turn eight this battle's gonna this battle might end badly but I'm going to keep trying to pick good fights There we go. Wipe those guys out. There we go. Nice. Oh, there it is. The beginning of the end of that cavalry unit. I'm going to engage with that cavalry next round, even though the odds will be bad. And maybe if the battle, the attack goes badly, they'll break away. Oh, what I didn't want to happen. Bummer. Oof. Break. Oh. Did 
disruptions. Nice. Like to see that. Lots of lots of disruptions. Good thing. There we go. Deal okay. We're starting to starting to do some damage here. There we go. Chariot around. Don't. Here we go. Nice. Come on, get from behind. Not disrupted. it for this these guys over here yeah okay we got these guys disrupted so oh and they're in pursuit that's a bummer this cavalry should be cutting through them next me versus 51 48 lose they just keep drawing, that's all. Come on, guys, you gotta cut through them. No oh, thanks. Breakthrough. There we go. Give me a disruption. Any unit? Anybody? Disruption? No? These guys still got ammo. Three turns of ammo left still. Let's get our heads out here. Still good. guys have suffered a lot of casualties. We didn't get a disruption on it by... Back away, retreat. I'll take it. That's it for T1. 
Team Assyria. 29, but eh. Suffered a lot of casualties. Take those, take that, take that, take that unit in the flank. There we go. There we go. We got a little bit of a. This is the forlorn hope right over here. Forlorn hope were infantry, and a lot of times in the assaults and Napoleonic battles, they were guys that you didn't expect to survive. They would attack, and their sole purpose was to absorb a lot of losses, break through the main gate. Okay, time to get them out of there. Fight the last. Can we get a disruption down there, please? Thank you. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice. Great. Poor guys. They're doomed. Take him in the flank. Thirty to three, heck yeah. Love it. And the elite comes in and crashes, yep. That was a pretty close fight there. Oh, not so much. Here's where we need a breaker. There we go. Starting to get some... Yep, go for it. these guys nope nope 26 to 3 I 
don't think they can retreat when they're double engaged. Oh, hold on, fellas. Thanks for holding on. That's the King Tuemon. Hmm. What we'll do is we'll turn this way. Shoot at him. All right, what do I got left? Boy, this. Yep, and that would be the end of turn nine. That was a decisive turn for the Assyrians. Had some breakthroughs in the line. Totally had to change the strategy of the battle. Pretty cool. Well, these archer boxes, these I have not broken this line. Hold on. I turned. Oof. That might actually hurt them if I get that other unit in there. Oh. Bye, guys. Disruption there, buddy. Break them. There we go. Good. No problem. Yep, good. All right, let's get this win over here, hopefully. Take them out. Nope, not yet. Fortified position, I can't break through it. Um, I don't know what to do here. Get out of dodge. There we go. There's the elite. Nice. Good D. 
Yeah. Hmm. Gotta be close. There we go. Nope, no thanks. Chariots just must have tore into those guys. What I got left? These guys all the way back here, huh? Hmm. that turn all right doing pretty good I'm gonna keep pressing the attack so I don't blow it Body finally attacked. Oh, they're they're coming out. Oh, go out of there! If we went, if we hold on, if they don't disrupt. We might win. We might beat them out of the, outside their entrenchments. We may have an advantage. They must be low on ammo because that didn't do much damage at all. Oof. Yeah, low. Low. turn wow they turned the tables on me over there finish them there we go nice great good That's right. Did disrupt them.
it's a bummer to lose that guy. Nice. Hold on, just don't... Oh, one thing I didn't want to happen. That's one thing I needed to happen, so that's good. Even fight there. No, don't fall on that far. Blank. that to happen. Bummer. Hmm. So I got left. Gotta get them out of there. Okay, there's a unit I do want to use. Turn close. The Elamites are so close to losing the battle. Three percent away from a twenty five percent win. I'm rusty. They got a break. These archer guys are now vulnerable. They're all low on ammo. You can tell. Zero. Oh, 
Run, run away. Oh, they're gotta be done. Yep. Oh man, we just oh. Wow, what a disaster. Break. You gotta be kidding, they didn't break. Wow. That's good. Well. Hang on, buddy. Hmm. Looks like I'm running out of options here. This has just been, uh, I think I've got much left to do here. Oh, why would I do that? Shoot, why did I do that? Gosh darn it. Okay. We will end the turn. The, the numbers are not good. Breaks, breaks. Gap is oh good, these guys are routing, that's good. Don't want to 
gonna flank us. No, nope, run away. Okay, good. Hold on, just one more turn. center eight point differential now five points there we go good deal Start over here. Wow. Cavalry attack. Hmm. Nice, 54 casualties. I'll take every single one I can get. Zero Just about all the options I've got here. All right. I don't know if I can win this battle at this point. The fight is over on the right if I win that. Good. Get, way to get out of there. Nice.
flank attack. Fourteen percent. I gotta. I gotta find a way to get those casualties. I don't know if I have. I don't know if it's on the field. Evade. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Okay, now we're getting close. How many men does that unit have left? He just ran away with his cavalry. Close, really close. Hold on, don't disrupt. Just don't disrupt. If you hold on, there you go.
Whew. Oh, that's nice. Rally just in time to crash into his flank. 38 to 2 or 97 to 0 with an automatic disruption. 80 to 0. 81 to 0. got to be it for them. There we go. Two percent away from the win. Turn 16. Close. 12 points to 2. That's got to be it for this. His fantastic archer core 51 to 58 it's gotta be it get out of there Oh, 60. That should be it. The enemy has lost heart. You are victorious. Great. Nice to get a win. First time back. Boy. Let's take a look at the enemy is dis yes I do. Call it a day. Governor. Alright, let's see what the losses are. Oof. The Elamites lost twenty nine thousand troops. The real um, losses were there captured. You know, as far as killed, six thousand killed and eight thousand eight thousand wounded. So, I mean, they lost 50 per 60 percent of their army. Lost a third of our army. Imagine the lot. That's just, that's a bloodbath. Yeah, Thirty-two thousand, fifty, eighty thousand men in the field of battle, and and almost half, almost half of eighty thousand men are casualties in one way, shape, or another. Um. Okay. So, what do I think of a uh, real quick after action review? Uh, strategy is flawed because of the 
obstacles that they had placed on the flanks that I did not uh, anticipate, did not understand, did not pay attention, whatever you want to call it up to. You know, these things happen in, in war. You you know you're in a in a battle. You find out something that surprises you that you're not ready for, and that was the the neat thing about not understanding. Probably should have seen that on the terrain. I didn't. Um, but what's cool about that is that what you get out of it is that you learn that hey, you know that terrain feature really was decisive um, and could have cost me the battle. It wasn't decisive, but it was it was it was a big deal. Could have cost me the whole battle, but it didn't, and we were able to win. So uh, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and look forward to your comments, thoughts, criticisms, and um, anything that you think about this particular battle. And yeah, also uh, thoughts on the strategy as well, the overall tactical plan um, for the battle which did not work out at all. But uh, the the um, the other thing I did too that was goofy was just chasing, going off on a goose chase with those, chasing those lighter chariots down with my heavies. I could not catch them. In fact, my commander, Ashurbanipal, he went all the way over to the northeast edge of the map and just basically got stuck there for the, an elite, basically an elite unit of chariots wasted for this particular game. So hope you enjoyed the battle. I sure did, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield. Thanks a lot for watching.